All right, a police cruiser is approaching a right angled intersection from the north, chasing a speeding car that has turned the corner, now moving straight east. When the cruiser is six tenths of a mile north of the intersection, the car is eight tenths of a mile to the east. The police determine with radar the distance between them and the car is increasing at 20 miles per hour. If the cruiser is moving at 60 miles per hour at the instant of measurement, what is the speed of the car? So what we've got here is a situation where um, we've we've got a police car and might help to draw this picture so a police car is approaching a right angled intersection from the north so something thusly a the bad guys um, have turned the corner and they're move they're moving now straight east so they're moving straight straight east all right and uh, so here we've got the police right here um we'll give them a red card you know i don't know blue red doesn't matter so here's the police car it's a dragster police car and uh, i'll give them some flashy lights here All right, police car right there, and his lights are, are radiant and flashing. Okay, police car, chasing the bad guy's car. So bad guys are this way, and uh, let's see what kind of car they're going to have here. What am I going to draw? A speed racer car. Nope, a speed racer tractor car. Wow, I'm a terrible artist. Okay, so here's the situation we've got. Police cars coming into the intersection this way bad guys leaving the intersection this way and we're told that the cruiser is six tenths of a mile north of the intersection so this is giving us some information here so basically what we're doing is we're setting up our model so they're six tenths north bad guys are eight tenths east okay um, the police determine with radar the distance between them and the car is increasing at 20 miles per hour okay so that's giving us a rate did you catch that in there the speed is changing at tw is decreasing at 20 miles per hour okay so if uh, if we call bad guy X, if we call police Y, because it's kind of the directions they're moving, then um, let's call um, the distance between the cars. So that's another thing here. Distance between, let's pick a fun color, orange. So at this exact instant in time, here's the distance between our cars. And we're going to say that that is changing at 20 miles per hour. So let's call that guy uh, Z. All right. So the change in Z with respect to time at this instant is 20 miles per hour. Okay. All right. Now, a couple things. Um, since the police car is moving down towards Y, uh, then let's go ahead and give him a negative rate of change. Okay, we'll say, so we would say that this is the origin right here. So we're, we're not moving away from the, we're not moving up away from the origin, we're moving down towards the origin, towards negative numbers. So the rate of change of the police car is 60 miles per hour. The cruiser's moving at 60 miles per hour. That's a rate of change. So dy dt is equal to 60 miles per hour. All right. So we know that. And since he's going in a negative direction, we're going to say that he's negative. We've got the rate of change between the police car and the bad guys here is 20 miles per hour. Looky here. We've got us a Pythagorean triangle and I feel like this is going to be important so I'm going to go ahead and note it all right Pythagorean triangle 
So if the cruiser is moving at 60 miles per hour at the instant of measurement, what is the speed of the car? In other words, what we want to know is the change of rate of the car, the speed of the car. What is dx dt? So let's think about this. What equation do we have an idea of that maybe possibly relates these things together? This side z up here, this side x, this side y. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's a Pythagorean relation. Something along the lines of what good old Pythagoras shared with us several thousand years ago. Something he either discovered or borrowed and became famous for. At any rate, it's x squared plus y squared equals z squared. I think this is going to be the equation that relates all three of these variables that I've drawn out here together. Okay, so what do we need? Well, I've got change of rate of the police car, change of rate of the distance between the car and the bad guys. I need change of rate of bad guys, which means that I've got to take derivative of this. So let's do it. I'm going to have 2x times dx dt. Why? I have to have dx dt. I have to have dx dt because I'm talking about the rate of change with respect to time. So I've got to have that in there as part of my derivative. 2y dy dt. Again, same reason. Rate of change with the y car in respect to time in the y position. And then 2z dz dt y dz dt, that's the rate of change of the distance between the cars. Well, it's all over but the crying now. I just need to figure out and solve for and eliminate and discover and find out and do some math and scratch and calculate and, and squirm, and I'm, I'm shooting for that guy right there. The problem is I've got x dx dt, y dy dt, z dz dt. Well, looky here. I've got x... I've got y. I don't have z, but can I find it? And the answer is yes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run Pythagorean's theorem. 0. 0.6 squared plus 0. 0.8 squared square rooted will give me z. Now my calculator has gone missing, so I'm going to trust our text here because well, they haven't been wrong yet, frankly, and according to them, uh, I get a grand total of, looks like, 20, 1. It's going to be 1, so this is a 1 right here. So what is that going to look like? Well, I plug Z in here for Z. I plug DZ, DT in here. With my y's, I plug my y value in, which is the police values. My y value goes here. Speed of the police car goes here. The x value of the bad guy goes here. Speed of the bad guy there. That's what we're trying to find. So what turns out is I've got everything except dx dt. So I'm going to go ahead and substitute all of that in now. So I'm going to have 2 times 0.8 plus uh, times, whoops, times dx dt. plus 2 times 0.6 times dy dt. And then over here I'm going to have 2 times 1 times 20 miles per hour. And right here, instead of dy dt, I know how fast the police are, are going. Police are going um, negative 60. All right, so I'm going to throw all this into my calculator. I'm going to squeeze it all down, and what I should end up with is um, that dx dt, the rate of change of the bad guys, is going to turn out to be 70 miles per hour. How did I get that? Well, I did this math right here. I, again, I don't have my calculator with me. There's going to be some maybe decimal action. But this is going to be 1.6 dx dt equals 60 times 2 
Uh, 60 times 2 is 120, so this would be um, 120 times 0.6. I just all I did was move it over plus 40. So there you go. Simplify that real quick and, and your you've got your answer. Okay. Um, that's it. That's a related rate. What did I need? I need a Pythagorean's theorem and a derivative. Uh, so with all of this stuff that you're gonna do, a derivative. He's right. He's right there with you the whole time. He's not going away. You need to make sure that you figure out an equation that does that. And also with almost every single one of these, we're talking about time. So when you take your derivative, you're going to have to chain out that dx dt part, dy dt, whatever your variable is over time so that you can account for that because we are looking for a rate of change.